Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 7 on my Rogue League Live 3, James Hart, Be a Pro Career Mode. Now in this episode, obviously you can see we're taking on the Knights of the first game, and it'll pop up in a second there. But you can see, we had a look at uh, all those lucky draw things, and we sort of got enough money, and you know, the contracts there, where we can sort of think about using some of that sort of stuff. Not every game, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to show you if I use it every single time, but you know, every now and again we'll throw on some ones if it's suitable. Obviously, we don't want to play huge money for those because I'm not really sure how beneficial they actually are, but I mean, if they're there, we've got the money, you may as well use it. Um, I mean, you can't use anything else for the money, like you can't upgrade stats or whatever, so may as well use it, and I plan on doing that, you know, when it's appropriate. But uh, this episode, taking on the Knights, uh, and then I think we're taking on the Titans as well. So, uh, two sort of lower rank sides who I'm expecting a victory, especially after, uh, you know, two wins in a row. We've had a pretty poor start in terms of results-wise, to the season, and we're looking to sort of go on a little bit of a run, that'd be nice, two wins in a row, can we make it three, fingers crossed it happens, but right there, Bo Scott ended up with a ball, we made a tackle, followed up by a second tackle, so, great defense from us, and we're finally getting our shit together, in terms of uh, the legs tackles, and then right here, brilliant tackle, I think it was on Metaudia maybe, and that was just an incredible tackle, forcing him over the sideline, he almost looked like he was doing a diving animation to go in for a try, but uh, he slid over the wrong uh, white line there, anyway, he's come up with another huge tackle there, and I've been all defense pretty much. We had one run coming out of our own end, and nothing really happened, but we do go into the attack mode there. A great little run, palming off some plays, and then we get an offload away, so brilliant stuff there from us. And we've had a, you know, a storm of a game so far. We just need our attack to sort of, you know, do a little bit. And then right there, a really, really nice palm. I don't know who it was on, but that was the last highlight of the first half. And I've got to say, pretty eventful first half in terms of defense. And as you can see there, we're a player of the match so far, so hopefully we can uh, continue that. But right here, uh, we're called for again, and we end up making the tackle uh, come in pretty quickly. You don't want to give up too many meters, so we've got to come in nice and quick there. And then we call for the ball here. Not too many meters, but I think we probably make more meters than what, you know, Parrot would have made or whatever. Now just wrapping around there, cutting back inside, and there's another few more meters there. And uh, we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, attack is starting to gel a little bit, but uh, a bit of a lengthier clip, clip just here, and we throw it all the way across field. And there is a strip, and I'm going to be called upon again to make another tackle there around the legs. Uh, maybe should have uh, went for the more, you know, just went for the tackle around the arms, the arm pin tackle to stop an offlay, but it didn't really work out, or didn't have to do it anyways, and you know, I'm giving away a penalty just for holding on too long, a little bit disappointing right in front of the post, and obviously they take the two uh, points, are a premium in this game, so, well, because it's five, uh, five minute halves and that sort of stuff, uh, so a little bit disappointing to concede that, but, you know, we've got plenty of time to go and try and score a try, and you saw right there, took the bomb, uh, all those little uh, points that we put in last episode, starting to pay a little bit, uh, you know, paying off a little bit. Caught the bomb at a few meters, and then right here, putting in a nice little kick there, going for the kick chase. Didn't quite get you know, hold of it, but um, fortunately, that's just how the game ended. There just wasn't any highlights. Team doesn't really create too many opportunities unless I'm directly creating that opportunity. If that makes sense, that's just I mean, it's just how the game mode is. It's pretty broken in terms of you know the halves don't do anything, and then even if you make a break, whatever, that just pass it back inside. So that's a little bit annoying, but uh, a loss it cuts our you know winning streak of two games. So, uh, back to square one here. Taking on the Titans. I believe Knights win ninth spot as well. So, I mean, I suppose they were the favourites, uh, you know, to some degree, because they were high on the ladder than us. But I'd say, you know, we should have won that game. We should win this game too against the Titans. I'm not really sure where they're located on the ladder, but if every single other crew mode that I've, you know, I've played or seen on here, they should be uh, pretty far down the ladder like it normally is and like in real life. So, um, yeah, I was expecting another win here, but, you know, I pretty much expect to win every single game that we play with James Hart, and you know, just looking for another solid performance, if we can do that, like we did against the Knights, you know, I'll be I'll be pretty happy about that, so, uh, a pretty good start to the game for us, we made a nice little tackle from a break, and I just wish we didn't have to make so many tackles, there's so many easy line breaks conceded by our side, but... Just how it is, and uh, you see right here, stepping around both for Loon, I think it was. We had a nice little pass, and I thought that was a really brilliant play there. Uh, too bad they couldn't get the offload away for us, but just here, backing up through the middle, I think it was David Clemo who got the ball to us. Uh, but just looking for those little inside passes, any offloads, uh, you know, to come our way, and they are starting to come away a little bit. You see right here, uh, we couldn't quite get involved in the play to sort of contest the catch or anything, but didn't expect this thing in uh, making the... Uh, making the tackle on the fullback, whoever it was, and they're right here. Dumb move to call for it, but it did work out all right. It's made more meters than what I reckon the computer would have ended up doing. Now, just doing a little bit of ball playing, willing to take the hit, and then we go down the short side here, palm off one, and nil all, just before uh, 
half time here, you know, literally seconds to go. So I'm gonna pass it to Hawkinson. Hawkinson launches up a bomb. We're not gonna get involved in this, you would think, but they do grab the ball and they are gonna go over and score. And it's a uh, little Tim Lafayette, a little Tim Lafayette, Tim Lafayette. Just I think Tim Lafayette. I'm not really sure if he's big or little, sort of in between. But uh, yeah, Hawkinson kicks the goal. So one from one, and we're in front. And six nil lead is something that I'm pretty comfortable with in terms of you know this be a pro series. And there's not a lot of tries scored in the five minute half, so. Uh, you know, I'm fine with just having a 6-0 lead at half-time. If that's what it is at full-time, we'll take it, as long as we get the win. Because, uh, you know, in under-20s, I was a lot more about individual performances, but I'm starting to, you know, get more into the whole we need to win as a team. So it is frustrating when you lose a lot, especially playing the side that we're playing in. But, uh, hey, it could be worse. could be playing for the Titans, I suppose. Now, uh, right here, very poor kick return from us. I thought we could just get around Ryan James, but it didn't work out. And our next involvement is just at the 60th minute mark. And put in a little kick there. Going to try and chase down, I don't know, Roberts or someone, whoever is the fullback. And we did so successfully around the legs. All right, here's 6 six minute a kick return. It'll make a few minutes. We decided that getting around the place wasn't really working out too well for, you know, James Hart. So we decided to try and, you know, run over the top of him. Now, right here, I think it's Ray Thompson or someone ended up with the ball. Uh, obviously, he, he plays for Cowboys in real life, but on here, I think he's the halfback for Titans, I think. Right here, call for the ball. Probably didn't need to do that. You know, Tyron Phillips is more than capable of just running it back and could have taken a second hit up. But we actually do get the win here. So, starting to get a little bit of form. Getting a little bit of a roll on and that's nice. Um, individually, we're not scoring tries or anything. But, um, you know, we're doing what we need to do and that's just defend. The rest of the, you know, the rest of the sides doing what they need to do and scoring the points. So, uh, it's nice that we don't have to carry them. So, anyways, that's where the video is going to end. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeNYT, face the page in the description below, and leave comments and that sort of stuff, and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.